What's up guys, welcome back to Jericho, back to another video. And in today's video, we are back with the 335 IS and it is driving. Thankfully, it started up no issues this morning. Um, yeah, we still have that thing underneath the car that's kind of like shaking, so we can't go too fast. Pretty much 35 miles an hour is our fastest speed. We do have a moving permit, we do have the car insured, um, so we should be good to go to kind of run some errands with the car and get it kind of warmed up for smog. At this point, I'm actually gonna be heading down to pick and pull first. They do have E90s that I'm hoping we can actually get to the four bolts. I'm hoping one of the cars have a manual seat so we get to the four bolts and remove the seat buckle if not it's worth the shot we'll order it online worst comes to worst but again i'm just hoping that possibly um one of the seats we can actually just move it forward or back and get that seat buckle out because that would be ideal i am looking online right now guys and uh basically the cheapest one's like 150 dollars for the driver one the passenger ones are always cheaper um because basically the passenger ones never really deploy it's always the driver's one so yeah supply and demand this thing definitely needs an alignment too you never know we could get it for 15 dollars at pick a pull that'd be a giant score so the good news is guys we just made it so i actually want to take care of two things while we're here before actually driving home first off is that hood issue I want to see if they can, the sensor is actually connected. If not, maybe I can grab some sensors out of here. And then also try to remove that belly pan that's scraping so much because I literally cannot even hit 35 miles an hour. So I can't even really test out the car really. But yeah, guys, we officially got to pick and pull. Unfortunately, the seat that actually had the buckle was completely gone. Somebody else got to before me. It was manual seats as well. Uh, so we ended up picking up some other parts like the intake scoop. Um, and actually, I think we found um, an actual hood latch as well. So the next clip, as you guys can see, we got a hood latch because that was actually broken in our hood. Um, and then I actually found another car with the seat buckle and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do something I've never done before. Um, I watched my boy Blake's video on how to tap into the fuse box to get the power seats to work. And um, thankfully I actually got the seats to work. As you guys can see, I actually tap into the fuse box right here. And then uh, a little bit of spark came up and I was like, oh my God, I actually got power to the passenger seat. I'm super proud of myself. But unfortunately, no power to the driver's seat. Then right after that, guys, my brother pulled up saving the day. We got the car jacked up. We removed that pan so it's no longer scraping we went on our first drive with uh basically no scraping in the car honestly drove pretty well i didn't want to floor it because um i just i didn't have proper alignment plus the wheel in the back right now is kind of flat so i didn't floor it at that point but i was just kind of driving moderately and uh, at least i was able to pass 35 miles an hour super excited about that mobbing out with my brother all the way back home um got some chipotle you know my brother had to catch up a little bit talked about life talked about cars you know the whole thing about bmw world and then uh yeah pretty much got ourselves our food and started heading back to our next journey. Also, if you guys think my commentary is amazing, I know, I know, I'm, I'm uh, this is something that's new. It's a new hobby of mine. It's a new passion. It's a new, uh, I don't know, it's a new something, you know? But yeah, basically, I finally got to a local gas station and then we got to inflate my tires because the rear tire, I didn't know if it was flat, cut, or whatever. As you guys can see how much it, it goes up pretty quickly. That just comes to show you guys how flat it was. But yeah, guys, right after we actually inflated the tires, we headed uh, to Smog. I wanted to see if the tires were actually hold up by the whole drive to Smog. Thankfully, by the time we got there, um, they looked somewhat deflated, not fully deflated. So we got to do smog. Thankfully, it passed smog. I went inside, took a little nap. Next morning hits, and uh, and unfortunately, uh, the ticking sound is back, guys, this morning. And I pretty much looked around. The sound was not coming from the left side of the engine bay. It was coming from the right side towards the bottom. So it sounded like uh, maybe the power steering pump is going bad. Uh, again, this is stuff that I'm just assuming. We need to actually take off the belt and diagnose it. But I'm hoping it's just a power steering pump and not some kind of rod bearing. I'm not getting any check engine lights. I'm not getting any reduced power or anything like that. So I really doubt it's an actual rod bearing. I really hope it's just something as stupid as like a power steering but which you need to address quickly because if we don't the belt might snap off and that might get sucked into the motor so we need to address that at this point guys finally getting to the topic of the video which is the coilovers we finally got our first set of coilovers believe it or not this is my first ever set of coilovers i've done two sets of springs i believe on the 650 and another car i don't really remember exactly but i've done two sets of springs and i've done air suspension but i've never actually done the thing in between which is coilovers actually have some friends that got these coilovers and uh believe it or not they actually use iBox springs and uh this is super 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 affordable for my friends that actually have these guys um they honestly compare to like uh what is what is that called like the top notch brand i think what i'm trying to reference is like bc coils um these the quality of them feels like bc coils at least the feel of it i'm not sure about everything else so far but these run about i think around 600 shipped so i think that's a super 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 good deal um while other companies the good ones are about 800 to a thousand dollars 
This is probably the best set I've seen for the money, and that's why I actually had to get a set of these. Now, for someone like me, I love modifying cars, but I don't like spending a buttload of money. So that's, again, the reason I went with these. Now, there are cheaper ones. There's some for even $200, there's some for $300, there's some for $400. Actually, there's some even at the price range of five or $600, but I honestly don't even trust my cars with those. This one, because honestly, they use the iBox springs. I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of them, and the build quality is just like top notch. I saw my boy Jonathan get some up, some other friends that got them as well, and I was like, wow, you know what? I think I need to get a set. <laughs> so far, guys, I'm very impressed. Probably some of the best packaging I've I've seen for any coilovers. I mean, obviously, this is my first set, but I actually have some friends that got coilovers as well, and uh, it doesn't look like this. This is absolutely beautiful, absolutely stunning. I believe it's like fronts and rears or something like that, but again, this boxing is just beautiful. <laughs> and like I said, guys, um, this is unboxing the first item from the box, and guys, again, I am not disappointed. My friends got these a while back, and uh, I'm happy to say the quality has not dropped down. Look at that MTS Technic right there. Looks super cool. And at the same time, it's iBlock right there, which is super nice. And again, you guys, this feels super high quality. But do you guys know what the best deal is? It's the fact that your boy reached out and got you a 10% off code, guys, for Christmas till the end of this year. So if you guys want a 10% off coupon, check out the link down below. You guys will get 10% off these coilovers. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get them all out of the boxes, set up in front of the car for a little nice little thumbnail, and then uh, obviously get started because I'm too hyped for my first set of coilovers. I think it's gonna look so, so, so good. So now that we got everything laid out over here, this is what I meant, guys. You have instructions for the front and rear and everything like that. So those parts that I was talking to you about, I thought was for the front, was actually for the rear, and they have it labeled number two. That's the adjustment block for the rear and it actually shows you you need to remove the rubber and just put it right into there then put the spring into that it tells you the orientation and everything so that's super 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 nice and this is what i love about having instructions like it just makes the install super easy so um yeah i think the first thing i'm gonna go ahead and do is work on the rears i think the rears are more manageable they're much easier so let's just knock out the rears first and once we knock those out we feel confident that we can knock out the fronts that's when we're gonna tackle the fronts because i know the fronts are always harder because you do have to compress the spring and whatnot so let's just go ahead and work on the rears again guys first time doing coal over so if I can do it, you guys can do it. This wheel also keeps running out of air. It is a run flat, so it does actually stand up a little bit because it has extra padding basically, but I actually think this rim is cracked because the previous owner stated that it could be cracked. I don't know, but it just keeps running out of air. So let's go ahead and take off the wheel and see if there's any bends or cracks within the wheel. Guys, it is completely flat, but I can't see a crack anywhere. I don't know, it could be honestly the tire too. So I guess I'll have to take this down and get it diagnosed, but the wheel looks perfect. I don't see any problems with it to be honest. Actually, coming to look at it, guys, it could just be the tire. If you guys look at it right there, it's got a puncture right there. So I don't know if that goes all the way through, but it's worth getting that checked to see is the rim bent or it could just be that. So for now, the rears, guys, we're just gonna throw on a different set of rims for the rears. I don't wanna keep driving on this. Uh, I don't wanna have any accidents or anything like that. So we'll have to get that checked up, see if it's a tire or the rim. We'll check the other side as well, but for now, we are in here. Let's go ahead, remove the stock suspension. I am super stoked for this, guys. Not gonna lie guys, gutting this is a mission. <laughs> This took quite a bit, but uh, now finally we can access both rear shock towers. We pretty much just remove that and bada bing, bada bang. That is the screw we gotta get out. So you can put that down, pop out this side as well. Um, so yeah, at this point, I'm just gonna go ahead and I believe it's an 18, it's a 16 millimeter uh, ratchet and then like a six millimeter nut on the top to get this out. So uh, let me go ahead and try to get this thing out. Is this gonna be? Do we need to adjust it? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh my lord! We might need to. I mean, the, actually, the other tires are smaller. So, oh my goodness! 
Talk about Lord. Dude, guys, this is like, you see my fingers? I can't even bring it up all the way. Like just putting a spacer on this, it'll be super flush fit me. Oh my God, that looks aggressive. I'm just so hyped at this point. Let's go ahead and do the other side. Guys, this thing is low. I can't even bring my flathead to make it even. So if I'm actually gonna put spaces on the original ones and it brings it out more, I'm hoping it'll clear just perfectly. If not, we just have to take off the wheel and just play a little bit with it. That's the cool thing about a cool lever, obviously, is that you can adjust your height, so that's super nice. But uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna be riding a little low today, which is gonna be <laughs> super funny. Now it's time for the front. For the rear, I'm doing one side. It took really, really, really long because I didn't really know what I was doing, but then I knocked out the other side pretty quickly. So I'm hoping it's gonna be the same for the fronts. We work on one side, it's gonna talk, probably take me quite a bit of time, but then I'll knock it out and then uh, we'll knock out the other side a lot quicker. Um, I think I spent a total of four hours in the rear and that's just because again, it's my first time and I'm doing research and you know, it's not like I, I've done this multiple times before. But yeah, I guess it's now time to work on the front. I am super stoked. Kinda, I wish I could pay somebody to do this. <laughs> but I mean, it is what it is. Guys, moment of truth. I don't know if I did the right height properly, um, but bro, it's time. Slam, boys. Slam it. Oh, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my lord. <laughs> Jeez, okay, that's lower. I'm probably gonna wanna lower it. Just probably, a, oh dude, I have a flat two in the front. <laughs> I had so many flats on this car, uh, but definitely a lot lower, guys. That looks too good. Oh, I know, bro, that's slammed in the rear. <laughs> It looks so good, dude. Okay, guys, we actually installed this one properly. Shout out to Elon, he came and helped me in the last minute. I had a little bit of an issue on how to tighten the top right here. Apparently, you need some vice grips to make life a whole lot easier. Didn't know that. I don't think there's been any other way too, but uh, at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the last one. Cannot wait, get that on there. It's honestly been a long day, guys. <laughs> Right, guys this side I actually put it in a little bit lower let's see how good this side's gonna look I'm super stoked for it so three two one moment of truth moment of truth moment of truth oh, oh bro that's too low dude <laughs> nah dude look how low that is nah bro <laughs> Guys, that's way too low, dude. I feel like as soon as I turn the steering wheel, it's gonna rip off the bumper, dude. No, dude, it will never, things are tiny. Oh my god, hold on, we're gonna have to test this out, guys, but jeez. Oh. <laughs> Hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you look so cute. Bro. <laughs>
<laughs> I don't know, bro, but this car looks so amazing, guys. This car is like the cute, you know what I mean? The, like the cute. Right now. Bro, it looks amazing, honestly, bro. Look at that. Guys, like, honestly, I just cannot wait to get all the wheels matching, put on them spacers. Like, sheesh, that looks too good, bro. It's slammed, though. It is slammed. Hey, Nora was not kidding, bro. Nora <laughs> got that piece slammed. <laughs> Just got out of the alignment place next to my boy Nick's place. So uh, yeah, he's actually right behind the camera. He's just filming us a little bit for the first drive. This is the first time. Bro, the alignment feels so freaking nice. Oh, <laughs> that steering wheel is finally straight, bro. Yes, dude, the steering wheel is straight. <laughs> um, the, the suspension, obviously we have coilovers now. It drives really good. Like, Bro, it's so stiff, bro. Right? It's, it actually bro, feels, it feels so like planted, car, yeah. But I mean, it's like, I love the feeling of it because I never had coils before. And this just feels like, like this is some racetrack stuff. Like this feels really cool. Um, I'm not gonna make it right there, am I? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go after the first rip, see if there's gonna be any check engine lights. I wouldn't be surprised because there's so many other issues with this car that we had to get sorted. So let's give it a first rip, see if the notorious N54 what is <laughs> we'll, it called? will last, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> we'll like, pass the test. Let's see, bro. I'm really, really curious. But my heart's beating for some reason. <laughs> I'm too scared to record this right bro. now. Okay. This goes, you could probably go straight. Oh, okay. Ready? Yeah, let's go for it. Okay, bro. Well, no oh. check engine. Bro, it's a good thing, bro. This thing's solid. <laughs> yeah, that thing feels planted, bro. And that thing, bro, that DCT is quick. It is quick. I love that. Sheesh. <laughs> Ooh, bro. Bro, the alignment is so good. Dude, you guys are amazing. What the heck? This alignment is amazing. <laughs> For aftermarket suspension, these guys do amazing work. Even like OEM suspension, but not many people are willing to touch your cars for aftermarket suspension. Facts. So, these guys are awesome. What are they, uh, Protec? Yeah, Protec Auto. Oh, these guys are amazing. Nah, these guys kill it, bro, for sure. Bro, it drives so good. <laughs> oh, my lord. Nah, it feels so planted, bro. I love that. Nah, I, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. But I just got, I got Racelands. I don't even know. I think they only have... Bro. Like, bro. Nah, bro. it's solid, bro. That's so solid, dude. Oh my <laughs> god. God bless, guys. Now, hey, to whoever is in the comments saying he doesn't go more than 60 miles an hour, he just hit 100. <laughs> just that's not, that's not, I don't even know. No, uh, I mean, guys, that's the thing with me. I like being a pretty mature driver on public roads. I mean, if I'm accelerating from zero, sure. Um, but up to like pretty much the speed limit. But I, I don't I mean, I, maybe if I accident 100, <laughs> we're in Mexico. So it's all great with the name, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Guys, we are at the end of the video and my god guys the 335s is seriously coming together i know a lot of you guys have told me not to go with those kind of girls you guys just saw there but those girls i got them on discount i ordered the wrong ones i got these ones to come quickly and for way cheaper so i was like you know what i'll go with these they're still black and they actually look still look pretty good but I, I i'm not gonna lie i probably like the single din ones instead of the double din ones probably would look better i'm not gonna lie but yeah i've been driving the car the past couple days is running errands and i'm not gonna lie these coilovers are stiff but feel really good they're not too stiff but they're like stiff enough to basically you know you have coilovers and they feel really 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 good there's no weird sounds coming out of them and uh, 
I'm having no rubbing issues. It's not like the spring is weak or anything like that. They are proper and honestly guys, for the money, I think these are absolutely amazing. If you guys want to get them, make sure you check out that link down below. But yeah, guys, without further ado, uh, thank the Lord. It passed smog. It, it, it's it's been knocking out things left and right. So thank the Lord that the build is coming together. But we do have a lot more things to perfect it. For example, that knocking sound, we still got to figure that out. And a lot of little ends and pieces, we got to replace like the wheel liner. Um, we still need some little grill pieces. We need to paint the, the trim piece. We need the interior brake light. A lot of other little things you need to get done. But we got the plates. We got the registration. We got the title. And we also got the smog. So, I mean, honestly, guys, it's coming together and we're going to start modifying it because we got so much more mods coming in and I just want to start modifying it as soon as possible. So if you guys are excited to see the modification videos, make sure to smash the like button. We got a bunch of carbon fiber stuff coming for it, some more wheel spec items coming in for it. And I think it's just going to look super good by the time we're done with this. So if you guys are excited, again, make sure to smash the like button. Without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.